Hi, Ori. Hi, Clara. Today we are here to discuss the digital blinds. Yes. So I'm really curious because this is really interesting technology. You nice. are head of our development department. Be really okay, sure. So the first question, how does technology work? Sure. So when we talk about digital blinds, we're talking about uh, technology PDLC or what we call liquid crystal. And uh, it is a glass which has a layer of liquid crystal in between the glass, laminated in between the glass. And typically when you apply, apply electricity, then the liquid crystal change their orientation. So it, it allows the glass to be transparent when electricity is applied and non-transparent when electricity is taken away. And so a uh, funny thing about it is the, the, the technology uh, works a little bit backwards, but to keep it simple, when electricity is on and it's applied, the glass is transparent, and when the electricity is off, the glass is non-transparent. I know that the technology is uh, like nothing totally new. How changed the development of usage uh, of this technology during the time? This is actually a quite a uh, good question because I've been uh, involved with uh, PDLC or liquid crystal now for approximately 10 years. So I've watched a shift in the development of affordability, meaning that the, the technology has become significantly more, av more affordable versus, let's say, 10 years ago. So this is one big development uh, in terms of availability and affordability. And secondly, I would have to say that there, ha there is an advance in the driving technology or the controllers. So meaning that the controllers are more sophisticated. They're not only managing power on or off or how much uh, voltage is going to the, to the, um, to the foil itself but uh, you are able to really tap in and control frequencies and, 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 and so on and so forth without getting too technical. But there are way more sophistication as it uh, relates to the controller. I can give an example. We have uh, an, uh, an original controller, which it's all about applying electricity in and out. But for a more uh, sophisticated or more modern controller, we see there are a lot more inputs, outputs. We are able to really tap into um, the foil itself and manipulate hertz, manipulate uh, um, electricity, voltage, and so on and so forth. And, and the last point is that uh, we have more color availability. Uh, in terms of the base material. Of course, prior we were able to do some production tricks to apply color, but as PDLC, as the base material, we have now at least uh, more variation from uh, the off-white all the way to a dark tint, as you can probably see in this room where we're sitting, where it's more, we call it black, yeah, or a dark tint. So we do recommend to use a color spectrum between white and black. I would say, yes, let's call it a spectrum. If you're saying like in the technical field, if you're using a RAL, like a white, it's not so clean white. It's more of an off-white. It kind of has a yellowish tint to it. And it goes, so you can get a medium grade, which is some form of a gray. And then you can go all the way up to a dark, which we call black. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we are talking now about some la like limits for the technology. So the limitations are based on the manufacturer or the producer of this glass itself. So it has to do with how the glass is prepared and on or, or for example, us at Likos, our restriction within the production, right? And so we have uh, an oven that we're able to prepare a glass as, as wide as approximately 2.4. Um, meters and length up to three meters and so and this is quite standard within the partitioning system right we wouldn't even go as wide as 2.4 meters but we are able to do such large format uh, individual glass sizes or module sizes but then of course you can connect each module to make a full wall as you can see in this area so this is uh, some of the limitations or one of the, the major limitation, which is size. Another limitation, depending on the type of technology, but this has been omitted, right? It's usually recommended that the technology or the PDLC 
is turned off or is free from electricity for about four hours. But with the newer controllers, this is regulated internally by the controller itself. So there's no need for you to add a timer or to manually turn this on or off just to let the PDLC rest, so to speak, right? So, so uh, this limitation is no longer an issue for us. Yeah, and I also see here that we have round corners, so also the technology can be used within the round corners. Absolutely. Round corners are now trending. We see this in almost every other project. And we are also able, with our double glaze system, to um, integrate the uh, PDLC or the liquid crystal or digital blinds to these curved corner. And when we are talking about the technical preparation uh, at the building site, uh, we are talking about electric uh, products. So how the wiring is big and how the preparation has to be done. Can you uh, like mention that? Is sure. It? So in terms of uh, the project and the project delivery, typically uh, this is, we're, we're talking about, like you mentioned, electrical components. Uh, but one of the key thing, first off, is that uh, for delivery, we recommend that this is the final touches, right? So we're installing the electronic blinds in a close to finish building site. So we want the area to be as, as clean as possible. We want the area to be free from cutting or heavy or dirty work, so to speak. Typically, all wires and cables are hidden, are hidden within the profiles. I can show you an example here where we have uh, th uh, thin gauge wires that are able to fit within the profile. All of these wires are, are able to be hidden within the profile. And as you can see, the controller, for example, this size controller, which is about uh, 90 millimeters by 150, is housed uh, within the ceiling or hidden away uh, within a raised floor or something like this. And this is already prescribed by our technician. And um, this a size um, a controller like this can drive 10, 15 um, meters square of, of, of partition wall. And there are different sizes or different types of controllers depending on the amount of PDLC that it's driving. So nothing huge to... Nothing huge. It's quite simple delivery. And uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, we are usually consulting with uh, end users to see how they would like to control the wall, uh, what type of switches to install and how to uh, how to manage or, or, or control the technology, let's say, yeah, turn on and, and off. This is exactly my last question. What is, uh, what is the most popular controlling system? It can range from a classic switch uh, on and off or it could uh, be uh, driven through a tablet or uh, some type of a, a, a device that's uh, a, a wireless device on the table or so on from your mobile device or typically integrated, for example, in our smart eye wall where we're using gesture control to control uh, the digital blinds. So Quite popular now is uh, automated response, right? Because you know smart homes and automation are, are trending and we're also able to integrate uh, the digital blinds within this infrastructure and automate the, the, the toggling of the glass based on occupancy or whatever conditions that we can define. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, if I can ask you, please show us. Yeah, the, the sure. Technology. I will show you the technology. So typically, within our Smart Eye Wall, this is a basic function that we have within Smart Eye Wall. And it's simply set up to use two fingers as a gesture and to swipe two fingers either left or right. 